everybody. Welcome to Mike and May's Great Adventure. So we are going to the bayou in Louisiana. We're on I-10 East. We just came out of... Uh, I can't remember what town we just came out of. And this is Henderson Swamp we're crossing. This is literally... Bridges. This floods or river? Uh, it's it's flooded right now. It's not normally this deep, but I don't think the tides affect this here. Everything down through Louisiana was flooded, so I would say that this is all flood waters right now. I told her I used to occasionally see like an alligator swimming in the river but I can't even tell where the river's at right now it's all flooded Enterprise rental cars 
load them on my step deck and take them to Georgia. I would run I-10. Well, actually, I-8 out of Yuma up to Phoenix, but then I'd be on I-10 the entire way across the country through Texas, across the south over to Georgia. And then I'd get a load out of Georgia going home to Pennsylvania. Arrow Road ahead. I just did that big loop around the United States. And I, I loved this. This was my favorite part. When I'd get on I-10, there's hardly any, any mountains. It's mostly flat. Uh, you get good fuel mileage, make good time. It was always warm. It didn't matter if it was winter. For the most part, it was always warm. But, yeah. And you get to these bridges here. I was hoping, I couldn't remember where the bridges were, so I didn't want to say anything to me. Water. Yeah, this is all swamp, or what they call the bayou, right below us. There's a group of French, like a whole French, uh, I don't know what you would call it, it's bigger than a colony, but whole French civilization. They kind of gelled into the southern roots. Uh, we call them Cajuns, huh? But they even have kind of their own language. It's a mix of English and French and, and some words I think they just made up. It's kind of colder a heavy concentration of them in southern Louisiana. They're the ones that make a living from the swamp. You can drop them in a swamp and they'll be fine. They know exactly what to do. It's in their element. Now it's been 14 miles.
can't remember. I was thinking the bridge was 20 miles long. This isn't the only bridge, but I don't know. Right now we're at 18 miles. 18 miles that we've been on the bridge. So I'm thinking it may be longer than 20 miles because I don't see the end. We'd stop videoing, but I'm afraid that see an alligator or something about the time stop video that's that's how it always goes yeah all along here underneath it underneath the bridges there's probably guys underneath us fishing what kind of fish that um well i know they catch bass but this area is real big for it's called a I think they call them all alligator gars. It's a gar. So you mean they're not alligator? No, it's, it's called an alligator gar because it's a fish that has a long nose ah. like an alligator and it has sharp teeth. Ah, okay. I don't think they fish for them with rods. Usually they'll put like chicken leg on a, tie it to like a soda bottle and they'll drop it in the water. And then they'll come back a few hours later. Lots of catfish in here. But a lot of largemouth bass. That seems to be the big fish down in this area is a largemouth bass. Those, those gars get really big. I'm going to say like five feet, four or five feet long. They're pretty big. You see that boat down that channel there, huh? It's cool around here. They use these rivers like highways. These guys that take their boats to work, they just follow the channels and go to work, dock their boat at work. They're done work and they get in their boat and they do some fishing on the way home. Or yeah, just like in uh, Pohol, right? Yeah. The student ride the boat from the one Island. You didn't go to the another island. Yeah, on Howe Island. That was that was really cool. Those of you that have been following us a while know about Howe Island. We didn't stay there long because there wasn't any signal. May was going crazy, but it was cool. I'd sit out in the morning and the kids would be walking up the beach to the schoolhouse. Kids from the other island is the Boats would roll in and they'd get as close as they could. The kids had to walk through the water to get to shore to, to go to school. It was like school buses, but it was boats. What are those boats called then? I can't think right now. Uh, they have a name for them. It's like the regular Philippine boats with the outriggers on it. I, I can't think of the name right now. Yeah, they'd roll in and 20 kids would get off. Some were lucky, they, their boat captain got them closer to shore. They'd only have to walk 50 feet through the water. Other ones had to walk 200 yards through the water. So we are at 22 miles. 22 miles we've been on this bridge. I think it's not much further, but we'll see. I'm going to keep yapping my trap. We'll edit the boring parts out, guys. I've always liked this down here. I don't know that I'd want to retire to here, but it sure would be nice if, if you had the money to have a vacation spot down here. Now it's dry. Folks, that is it. 20... Wait, we're not off the bridge yet. So it's 20... 23 and a half miles. 20... Yeah, 22 and a half miles. 22 and a half miles. 
I might be off a mile. I don't know. It, we got on the bridge and after it was on a little bit. I just added a couple miles because I knew we were on the bridge for a bit, for a while before I started paying attention. So we'll get this video? Yes, I think we will, honey. I hope, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, share, and like. Until next time. Take care.